this. Show those thieves not to steal from Luke and Valerius. You found it. <laughs> there it is. Strange. It seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm going to put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. I think I have a few old spell books laying about. If you want more, you'll have to go to the College of Winterhold. just sitting there for the taking. Welcome. I'm the owner and proprietor of Hunting Brew Meadery. Take a look. All right, then. You need something to do, or you just enjoy slowing down the hard-working folk? If you need to sample some of the finest mead in Skyrim, you're in the right place. If you want to buy something, go find Sabjorn. Otherwise, piss off. You speak to a Vigilant of Stendar, cavort with any Daedra, and we will hunt you down. Yes. Our order was founded after the Oblivion Crisis. We dedicate our lives to facing the threat of Daedra wherever they appear. We're quartered in the Hall of the Vigilant, 
Gatekeeper Corset heads Skyrim's branch of our order there, providing healing and justice as needed. He is the God of Mercy, the patron of order and justice for all of Tamrio. We bring his compassion where none can be found, by cleansing all those who would offend his children. And any other abominations that prey on mortals. Vampires, werewolves, witches. But the Daedra are the worst. Their callous disregard for our lives is abhorrent in the eyes of the God of Mercy. The Vigil will be watching you. The mercy of Stend. Still here. I am sworn to carry your burdens. You lead, I'll follow. Hold it. This here's a toll road, see? You're gonna have to hand over, say, 200 gold if you want to use our road. Huh! Tough talk for someone who's about to have their guts spilled. You pick up that you get lost, friend. <laughs>
I've got your back. I am at your command. You lead, I'll follow. Greetings, brother. You look weary. I have something to help you relax if you're interested. All right, then. The finest skooma, the sweetest moon sugar, at a fair price, of course. Oh, a snitch, huh? Can't have you running to any guards now, can I? Important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. Important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. Hmm? Hey, friend. It's good to see another merry soul enjoying this fine day. Ah, but you look tired. Come, share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. You've never had a taste of sweet hunting brew? Why, it's only the finest mead outside of Sovngarde. Its sweetness is like a fair maiden's kiss on a starry night. And it's got enough kick to put a frost troll on his hind quarters. <laughs> but enough talk. Come, won't you share a drink with me and my companions? Ah, nothing like fine spirits to help raise your... Well, your spirits! Cheers, my friend. May your adventures find you fame and fortune. Need something? <sighs> Imperial business, be on your way. Imperial business. Be on your way. If you know... I'll water the ground with your blood! <laughs> I can't burn! Uh, uh. pay for that?
What could it mean? The return of the Dragonborn? And who among us could possibly hold that honor? And such power? If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's haunted. The Greybeards are a solitary lot. I don't think they've ever ventured outside their monastery. We get the occasional pilgrim passing through here on their way to the summit, but almost all of them have returned disappointed. There ain't much more to tell. They're haunted. And you should stay away. Look, I've seen one of the spirits with my very own eyes. When it glared at me, I swear it burned right through my soul. Fortunately, they seem to be sticking to the barrow. I think they're guarding it. Certainly isn't helping my business any. Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrow? If you think there's anything you can do, be my guest. About a year or two ago, some fella named Windelius came through. Said he was some kind of a treasure hunter. I warned him not to go in there, just like I warned you. The very next night we heard screams from the barrow, and that was it. We never saw him again. I heard tell of a lad in Windhelm, Aventus Aretino. They say he's been doing the Black Sacrament, trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Damn fool. People say there's someone in Riften that can change your face, make you look completely different. Do you believe that? If you pass through again, stop by for a drink. You should probably be in bed. You're looking a bit under the weather. My business is falling apart, my apprentice never listens to me, and now there's talk of dragons. If I hadn't sunk every bit of gold I had into my mill, I would have picked up and left Iverstead long ago. Are you kidding? Those damn things will drive me right out of business. Tell you what, bring me ten of their pelts from anywhere in Skyrim. I'll gladly pay you for thinning out the herd. Have you ever seen what a bear does to the trees? They jump on their hind legs and scratch them to bits, marking their territory or something. It's getting to the point where I have to scour Skyrim for untouched trees at the right size. Cost me too much time and money. Now go give those these damn the graybeards stay away from me and I stay away from them suits me just fine Now go give those stupid bears what's coming to them Pardon me my lord would you care to hear me play my lute I've always fancied a journey up the 7000 steps to the monastery anything to break the boredom of living in this town I envy you. I play the lute. If you'd like to hear something, it only costs five gold. Thank you, my lord.
Hmm? What do you want? Clinic brings food supplies up to them once every few weeks, when the weather permits it. Other than that, they seem like a quiet lot. Don't really know too much about them. <sighs> what a boring conversation. You look a bit... peaked. You sure you shouldn't be home in bed? Gods, it's true, isn't it? A dragon has attacked White Rock. How could mere men bring down such a beast? You look worse than I feel. Raid was here and gone. Went to gather plants and never came home. Nope, nope. Everyone looked and no one could find her. Wilhelm said she'll be back. Told Harvey not to worry. Rada will come back. With father, I said goodbye. With mother, I said goodbye. Rada leaves, and Narvi can't say goodbye. Makes Narvi very, very sad. Narvi needs Rada to say goodbye. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. If, if you see Rada, that Narvi misses her, and you'll come home soon. Very soon. Soon. Soon like the moon! I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Have anything interesting to tell me? The Greybeards are a strange bunch. I heard they live their entire life without uttering a single word. Can you even imagine? I wish I could go with you. Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Never My daughter's driving me crazy. So forgive me if I'm a bit on edge. They call it the path to the monastery to 7,000 steps. Can you imagine? I'm not certain if I could even make it to the top without collapsing from exhaustion. Just get out of town as fast as you can. Nothing for anyone here. Pilgrim, you must be another pilgrim on the way up to High Hrothgar. No other reason to pass through here. Honest pay for honest work. It's frightening living below their monastery. Sometimes I swear I can hear strange noises rolling down from up there. It sounds like thunder. But there's never any rain. What do you make of that? Sure, leave. Everyone else does. Any idea how to get the head out of the clouds? You a pilgrim or just passing through? Don't take this the wrong way. You look a little sick. Nothing for anyone.
You don't look like a pilgrim. Why bother visiting Iverstead? We don't get many visitors through here. Unless they're headed up to High Hrothgar, of course. Ah, he's harmless. He's been in a state ever since his sister Raida disappeared over a year ago. He just keeps to himself in what's left of his folks' farmhouse across the river. I just said that to make the poor guy feel better. I'm pretty sure she's dead. Raida would gather ingredients from the small island in the river east of here. Then one day, she just vanished. I tried to look for her, but she never turned up. I've seen some sort of a cave entrance over there. Folks call it Geierman's Hall, but I don't know why. Probably best if you avoid it for now. It didn't seem to do Raida any good. Sir, I've got no interest in magic users. No use for their kind at all. They're way up north in Winterhold, and that's fine with me. I don't even like our Jarl having a court wizard. If you're headed up to the monastery, watch your step. It's a long way down. <laughs> 